Newborn babies don't need that much stuff, but I feel like when you're organized and you have it all in one place, it's a lot more manageable. In this video, I'm gonna show you everything that is in my nursery cart as a second time mom. If you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Jenny. I am a teacher, a mom, a doctoral student, and expecting baby number two in July. So currently I am 30 weeks pregnant and I have started setting up my nursery cart for my second child. And I wanted to show you exactly what I have in it and exactly what I feel like are the must-haves that you should have in one if you are wanting to do a nursery cart of your own. let's start with the first tier here. My first tier is all my pumping stuff. So with my first daughter, I exclusively pumped and so I regularly needed all the pumping stuff. So I figure this time I will probably, I'd like to try to nurse, but you know, if it doesn't work out, I have all my pumping stuff set and either way I still will need to pump here and there because I will have to go back to work when I am about 12 weeks postpartum. So for my pumping layer here, um, I actually have a bunch of the Lansano breast pads. They keep you from soaking through your shirt. You are going to need them overnight. I assure you, regardless of whether you are breastfeeding or not, to start off with, you're definitely going to need them. I also have in my top cart here, and these are just organized by these little Target containers. I also have my pumping parts here and ready to go. I have my Spectra pump that also always stays here. What I like about the Spectra is it has a light as well, so I can actually use that light to kind of illuminate everything that's here. I have Tender Care Lanolin. So lanolin I would be using for times when my nipples are not super sore, but I need to use it in between. I have the Medela Tender Care gel pads for if I am particularly sore. These things are awesome. I highly recommend them if you're going to be pumping and you're sore, or if you're breastfeeding and you're sore, these are the best. They're expensive, but you get what you pay for. I also have in my top tier of my cart, several of the Medela wipes for pump parts. In the middle of the night, when I am pumping, I do not want to deal with cleaning off pump parts, especially going to the sink and washing them off and all that jazz. So this is kind of just an easy hack for me to use before I wake up in the morning. So it gives me a way to clean them off. And then of course I still run them, me personally, I still run them through um, our actual wash when I wake up in the morning. I have two other things that are in the top of my cart here. I actually have some hand sanitizer. Always need that whether you are pumping, nursing, breastfeeding, changing diapers, that's all very useful. And then of course I have some Boudreaux's butt paste, which actually goes with my second tier of my cart, but it really doesn't matter. You're gonna be grabbing for all of it in the middle of the night anyway. The last thing in the top tier of my cart here are of course my pump parts here. So now I'm gonna pull out the stuff that's on the second tier of my cart here. So I wanted to show you exactly what's on the second tier. So I have a little basket here. I'm gonna set it right here so you can see it. It is full of all newborn size diapers, so I keep that in here with a bunch of newborn size diapers. I also keep three different burp cloths. I actually made these burp cloths, and if you would like to make them yourself, then I will put a link up above. If you would also like to make your own burp cloths, it's really not very hard, and these have lasted through my first child and hopefully through my second child too. Although my second child, she's the last one, so if they fall apart for her, that's okay. Also on this tier, I have wipes. So you can see them here, I have a whole bunch of wipes, packs of Pampers wipes, I have some water wipes here in the front, and then I also have two little cups here. Let me pull them out so you can see them. I have two little cups that look like this. One has Soothe pacifiers in it, and the other one just has washcloths. You can never have enough washcloths. These are bamboo washcloths, and these little cups came from Target too. So I'm gonna have a close up of the whole cart too towards the end if you wanna see exactly what each tier looks like. But I did wanna go through and show you specifically the kind of stuff that I've been putting into my cart. And this is also a Target weave basket. I wanna say this was like $2 to purchase. And it fits pretty much an entire sleeve of newborn diapers. So there's tons of newborn diapers in here. These are Honest's new brand. So Honest now has the line for when it's blue, you know, you need to change it. I really like that they added that, so I'm excited to have those. So I have Honest diapers in here, my burp cloths, washcloths, and passies, as well as wipes. Of course, you're gonna need lots of wipes. All right, 
I wanted to get down here on the floor so I could show you not only a close-up of my middle tier of my cart, but also so that I could show you what exactly I put on the bottom of the cart. So the bottom of the cart actually has the kind bags attached, like hold a bunch of these different kind bags. The reason I'm using the kind bags is because when I'm pumping at night, I do not want to deal with washing out pump parts or bottles or what have you. It took up a lot of time with my first child, and so I'm actually going to be using the kind bags. The cool thing about them, if you've never used them before, is they actually fit onto the pump part. So this is a Spectra pump part with the adapter that's free from the kind website. And I literally, I literally can just screw the bottle on and it will pump straight into the bag. So that is a really nice hack to save some time if you are looking for a way to have less things to clean in the middle of the night while you are pumping. So for me personally, I did not use these a ton with my first child because I don't know, I should have, I had them. But for this one, I'm definitely going to use them. It's not as green as using bottles, of course, but you know what, you gotta do what you gotta do in the middle of the night. <laughs> So here's a shot of the back side of my cart. I wanted to show this to you mainly because I wanted to show you what I actually have on the bottom tier. Again, this is a Target storage bin that I have all of the kind bags in right here. And I also have some extra pump parts over here. So I have the extra tubing. This is the Maymom tubing for the Spectra. And I also have extra duckbills because you're gonna wanna replace the duckbills pretty often. So I wanted to have extra pump parts just in case I ever needed them. Just a few, not a ton not going to be the main place where I'm pumping but also the other thing I put in the front of this that I feel like is very necessary because we went through these a lot and we needed them a lot are extra sets of sheets for our bassinet we use the snoo and I'm going to be posting a video next week with a snoo review and also all the sleep data from my first child so you can see whether or not it's something that you're interested in it is very expensive but you can watch next week and decide if it's something you might be interested in but these are our snoo sheets but any bassinet sheets would be useful to have because babies do spit up when they're on the back sometimes and you're going to want to have to change those sheets out obviously so they're not sleeping in something that's dirty. To that same effect, I also have an extra swaddle for the snoo that I keep in the bottom to make sure in case she spits up overnight, I have a spare one to just grab and change. Something else that I will be adding to the bottom of the cart is probably at least one extra sleeper or two extra sleepers, just so again, if she spits up in the middle of the night, I have those. Probably will be a very light sleeper considering the fact that I'm going to be having a July baby and it's very hot in Georgia, but that's something else I'll probably put in this extra space here. I don't know if you can quite tell, but there's a little bit of extra space here in my cart that I can actually put that in. So let's talk about where I got all the different pieces of this cart, because that is important too when you're putting together a cart is, hey, where did you get all the stuff for it? So these bins, these white bins right here that are on this level and also on the bottom level here are from Target. They are on the Target website and I wanna say these were about $2 each. They're the long bins, but they're the small size bins. So they take up about half of the half of the cart's width, but you can't fit two of them next to each other, unfortunately. I wish you could, but you can't. You also have these little cups and they come in a set of three and these are also from Target too. Like I said, these are the ones that I have the passies in, my Avent passies that my first child loved. I'm fingers crossed hoping that my second child loves them too. These are new, of course. You wanna get new passies for each baby. And then I have a little cup that has the washcloth in it too. I probably could fit one more washcloth in here and I honestly might, but I really liked these little cups. They're kind of malleable, they're squishy. So you can kind of squish them in there if it's a little tight. The cart itself I actually got off of, I wanna say this one was Big Lots? But I also have another cart that I'm using for downstairs for pumping that is from Target. And the Target cart is pretty much the exact same size, a smidgen shorter, but actually the, the um, but actually the drawers themselves are a little bit bigger. So I would definitely recommend getting the Target one. The Target one was $35 and it comes in three different colors. And this one I think was a little bit more than that, but it came in a nice teal color.
was helpful and gave you some ideas of some different ways you could organize your nursery materials. Are you using a nursery cart? Is there anything that's on yours that's not on mine? I would love to know because I am a second time mom, but I am a lifelong learner and I would love to know what it is I might need to add to mine as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I post new videos every week and I would love to have you along while I have my second child and I also go through the developmental stages of my toddler. Thanks so much and I will see you next time. Take care.